hello guys welcome to the another video of uh, automation with java and selenium so in this topic we are going to cover how we can test or how we can automate windows and frames and alert in any application so let's go back to our application so here we have one option switch to where we'll get three options alert frame and windows right now we are covering windows so click on it once we click on it we'll get some ui and this ui is saying you can open few windows so let's start with one by one so the first tab is one tab open new tab window so when i click on it it will open a window in a new tab now we will go back to our previous window and click on this tab open new separate window and when i click on it it will create or it will pop up a new window we will be having that next is separate window so it might open multiple window or one window this could be vary from situation to situation or we can So as you can see, it opened two windows. So right now, if I need to check or I need to work on or I need to write something for window switching, then how we can do that? So let's go back to our Eclipse and we will write something as I have done this. But I want, I mean, for you guys, I will be writing this code for switching to window, switching between window and all those things so for, for that purpose i will be creating window example and we'll take main method so in this we are going to pick our common code that is going to reach to that windows page so here is one thing that i want you to focus is like we have two way to reach over here either we can mouse over on it and click on it that we have already covered in our uh, uh, mouse over uh, classes that how we can mouse over and click on any element for mousing over now the second way is like you can directly go to this url and you will find this is the window that is open so we will be taking the second approach we'll copy this url and navigate to that now once we reach that point then we'll see that this is the tab okay so very first time you'll see that this tab is already open we do not need to click on it let's refresh it and we'll see yes so our open new tab window tab is already open and we can see the click button now we need to click here for that purpose i can directly go here i am using selector hub to get my x path as I have already covered the how to get a clear X path, but right now we are focusing how we can automate windows or how we can switch between window, how do we can handle windows. So for that purpose, I will be using this tool. Now, as you guys can see that I will be performing some actions like when I click on it, it will go back to this window then i have to go back to my previous window and click on it and perform the same action so i need to get the address of this window from where i am going so to get the address of the current window in our case this is our parent window and newly opened window is our child window how we can reach from child to parent that is a tricky task but selenium has already provided how you can get the address of your current window it is same like you have a house and you are going to uh, market so once you reach the market you verify or you uh, purchase something and now you have to go back to your home how you can do that at least you should have some address that's why if i have my address then i can go back to there the same things happen if you i mean stayed in a hotel 
and you have the address of that hotel you go to the market buy something and now you have to go to your hotel how you can do that you have to you should have the address of that hotel by this address you can directly reach to that so first of all we should or uh, we will be taking the address of it for taking the address selenium used to provide us driver dot window or switch to dot window just a second driver dot get window handle so this is my parent window i will be saving it in a string so you i mean an in interview you can face a question like what is the written type of window handle so you can say the string so this is my parent window okay now once i got the address of my parent window then i will be clicking on it so for that purpose i need to get the xpath office i click on it i'm using this tool to get the xpath now once i get the xpath you know how to click on a button we will be using driver dot find element by dot xpath and we will be using the xpath dot click let me minimize this click okay so it mean to say when i execute my script it will click on it so once it click on it it will move to the new window let's do that now manually application is taking to or opening a new window and that's what we want driver dot switch to dot window now you can see window needs the string or name of the handle but how we can identify that because we don't have any name right now so how we can do that in that case let's think about it we have one window or two window how we can do that so you can think about like if i will get all those windows that open or that currently there then i can switch between that is the correct answer so for that purpose we have to get all the window available what we can do driver dot and uh, get window handles as you can see as you mouse over on it you will see it will store set of string set is like unique window it will keep unique window so we will be doing that we will be using set and we will saving the string of number of windows number of windows now by using this we'll get number of windows available and we have to switch i trade the window we have to check like whether this is my window or not how many windows okay so for that purpose i am using you can use anything like you can use iterator right now i'm using for each for each string number of window so it will go to i mean this might contain one or two or three or many windows and it will this loop will iterating like it will go to first window and verify second window and verify and third window and verify when i say verify i mean so we will be going to that window now we have got the name driver dot switch to dot window and the name of the window so he in, in our case we are let it my window let it name something like this okay now it will switch to that window so what will happen if i switch to that window i mean to say if i click on it i move to this now how to verify whether this window is open then there are multiple things that you can do you can verify the text available i am i am doing i am taking the url of that and verifying so let's do that driver dot get current url current url okay i'll save this url in a string and i'll check string and i will check if this url contains 
spot we'll check whether this url contains this text we'll verify whether this url contains this then print true else print false else print false okay let's execute it Now page gets loaded, click on it, it verified and we'll see the result. Right now we are not closing our tab and you can see. First of all, it finds false. Why? Because it is navigating because number of window might be many. It could be your current window or the next window. So first of all, it will find the current window. It means to say it is here and it verify whether a selenium dot dev is available or not so that's why it is saying false now it switch back to the switch to the another window and verify whether it contains the url selenium dot dev so that is why we are getting false and true okay now when right now i am on this window then i need to switch back to this window and click on it correct yes for that purpose i have to you i mean you guys remember that we have used or we have saved our parent window okay so once i perform my verification then i will switch back to my previous window how you can do that driver dot switch to dot window and the name of the window is parent window it mean to say is it will switch back to our main window now when it's reached to here, then I have to click on this button. Okay, to clicking on this button, I am using driver dot find element by dot x path and the value of it dot click. So once it click on it, then again I have to click on this button. I'll take the x path and driver dot find element by dot x path and the value of it dot click click now when we click on it we'll see a pop-up again we will be doing the same thing we have to switch to the window what we can do i mean we can use the same code get number of window okay just a second yes get number of windows and switch or iterate each windows and get title and if my title contains selenium dev then i am good with it okay so let's see is it what is the result now we can execute our test case So we have the window, it click on it, verify, let it load and again go back to its previous window and open this button. Let's see the result, false, true, false, true, true. Yeah, so we get, we are able to open this. Now, if I am to click on this, then we have to again click on it and click here so i uh, would request you guys to perform this multiple tab thing at your end so that you can understand when i click on it we'll get 
two windows or then i trade each window and verify the url contains is this or what or you can print the url of that so this is about the window windows example how we can switch between the windows now we have to check how we can switch between the frames class i frame frames example okay we'll keep the same code this and paste it over here now we can see that let's close the remaining window we can see that we will be moving to this page okay so as you can see there are a couple of things available on this page and what is that when i say i frame then how we can identify whether it's a window or an i frame then let me give you some suggestion if you are going to verify any i frame on the page you can do something like this you can verify by i frame tag you can see when a tag that is started with i frame let me check yes so this is the tab that is i frame and when you mouse over it you will see this segment is highlighted yes it is highlighted and within this there is some document that is available and this is the html so as so i frame is nothing like a page within the page so for example you have seen multiple ads on the page if you uh, open any website you will see some ads is uh, running around uh, so those ads are itself a page and how we can integrate those ad in a in a in a page then we have to put those ad in i frame that's why if you want to automate the ad on a page or you want to click on ad and verify it is navigating to the url then you can use i frame tag to click on that there might be multiple uh, ad available on the page so you can get uh, the number of i frame uh, number of uh, uh, ad by finding the size of this i frame so we will be doing that like in this we have these three i uh, i frames and they are identical you can do that so let's get started so we'll be uh, switching to this page and uh, once we switch to that we have to go inside this frame and and verify the text and go back to our main here and go back to the second i frame and verify this text and again go back to the main content and verify this so this is how we are going to perform now look at the code so right now as i can see I need to find number of iframes. So for that purpose, I will be using driver dot find. Okay, so here is a question: If I want the number of anything, then I will be using find elements and by dot tag name. As you can see, iframe is started with iframe tag, so we'll use that. Like how many elements are available on the page which are having tag as iframe so if i mouse over it it is saying list of web element even we can copy this too like we can store web element list of and we can call it list of i i frames okay. yes it's asking me to import it let's import this one and web element as well import okay so this will give me number of this if you want to print the size like how many iframes are there so we can see like uh, list dot size yes so now i need to iterate like if there are three or four iframes then i need to go back to first iframe verify something 
go back to my previous one then this is how we are going to perform so either you can use uh, for each okay, for each for each so list of iframe it will verify so how we can switch to iframe the same way we are switching to the window driver dot switch to dot switch to frame as you can see there are couple of methods are available frame provide the index like zeroth one or first or first iframe second iframe third iframe or for something like that name of the iframe so when i say name it mean to say this iframe if it has some property like uh, name equal to iframe one then we can use the this thing directly like switch to this but right now as you can see we have three things index string of web element so i think web element is the nice one because we are having list of web element so we will be using that frame frame and we can use the web element so in our case this is the web element okay yes so now it switched to that iframe after that we have to get the text of it to getting the text we can use the same thing like this h1 text is h1 h1 and it contain text equal to uh, this that we can verify let me verify it over here yes we get three text yes that we can use in our code so driver dot find element by dot x path and the value of the text dot what we can do we can get the text or we can use dot is displayed something like this dot is displayed even you can use i mean you can get the text imprinted yes as by so okay s by so and let's save because this is a boolean thing let's save and boolean and we'll print whether the element displayed in the second line we are printing the text of it get text now once we get the text we'll save is name and we can print that part two s by s o and name okay so this is how we can iterate and we'll see like uh, how many iframes used to contain all those things we'll run it and see now our page is open it is switching between the things and let's see so three true example and it is saying stale element exception so uh, you have seen that there is a our script has reached but page is still getting loaded that is the main thing so we can provide right now we can provide the delay uh, thread or we can refresh the page sleep or we can give a 500 millisecond or 5 second delay if we throw some exception and we'll see it open the page and let's see what we are getting three that is fine still we are getting stale element exception we'll see like why it is coming and then 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 okay let me execute it again
yes now it is printing what it need to yes get text and everything so right now we have covered iframe and windows and uh, the remaining part like uh, the alert section we will cover in the next session so this is all about frames and window if you have any complaint or confusion ping on the channel and don't forget to subscribe thank you guys happy testing